A few days ago, I was visiting with Julie who cuts my hair. I told her my haircut had to look really nice as we were going to film a show at the Rose Garden in Duluth. Julie said she has driven by, but they have never stopped in to see the park and Rose Garden. She is looking forward to seeing the show and the beauty that Wendy Woolwind enjoys almost daily at Leif Erikson Park and Rose Garden. Welcome, Wendy. Welcome, Mary. Thank you for coming. Tell us about your background and what your job is here at the Rose Garden. Uh, my background is I have a degree in biology. I also maintain a major in horticulture, and so I have to always do continuing edu education credits to uh, keep up on current gardening practices. My job here at the Rose Garden is to take care of over 2,600 different rose plants. Who was Leif Erikson and why is the park named after him? So Leif Erikson was an early European explorer and Bert Enger was uh, a wealthy Duluthian uh, in the 1900s and the park was named something different and he wanted to have it named Leif Erikson so he donated $5,000 to the city of Duluth and one of the stipulations of that donation was to make sure that the park was named Leif Erikson. Has the park always been here? No. There was a park in 1967 that was established uh, a little farther uh, west of here and in the 80s there was uh, the reconstruction of the freeway and once that happened they removed the roses and they uh, rebuilt, they built the tunnel over the freeway and now since 1994 this garden has been here. Why was it moved here to this location? It was moved here because uh, it was a great way to use this urban space and we are over the freeway and we have a gorgeous view of the lake. What makes this location unique here in Duluth? Um, well, we're centrally located and it's easy accessible and we are uh, at the lake walk as well so people can park here look at the roses and then if they wanted to continue on they could go down and take a walk on the lake walk and enjoy many of the shops down in the Canal Park area. It's a really, it's a great location. Were the roses always part of the park? The roses have always been part of the park. What's been um, added since uh, the 90s is that we've added perennials for interest and also we've added uh, more varieties and more disease and hardy resistant roses. Do you have to worry at all about lake effect here? Yes and no. Uh, lake effect can be good and bad. Uh, so right now in the summer, we have been enjoying a really warm summer, but with the lake, we get these cool breezes that come through and it actually preserves the length of the rose. And so sometimes if it's really hot, a bloom will only last a day. But because we've had these nice cool breezes that are coming from the lake, as you may be experiencing right now, uh, they will last longer. So ideally, a rose bloom can last five to seven days, but in a perfect system, it could last up to a couple weeks. Um, it's weather dependent. Uh, we could have a storm, there could be strong winds, things of that nature. How are the beds designed here? Is there a pattern? So there is the more formal areas, uh, and I call them circle one, two, three, and four. It's like an English uh, garden setting, and they're in a circular pattern, and they have the beds that are around in, uh, th that circle. And they kind of move like water because we're right next to the lake. We do add um, perennials for more interest because Typically roses don't bloom here until the uh, first or second weekend of July. So for more interest, we do supplement with perennials. So we have hedges of arborvitae and we have them um, not only for beauty and designated space, but it also helps for um, wind protection. What helps in the summertime here, being next to the lake by having these cool breezes can also be harmful in the winter because of the gales of Lake Superior can be down here as well. <laughs> How often do you trim these hedges? I typically hedge the arborvitae usually in the third week of July. How long does it take you to do all these? <laughs> it dep depends on how much help I get. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, in 
typically we try to get it done in a week.